Hey everyone, Melissa here. So this is my look for today. Um, I just got off work and I wanted to show you guys. I really like the way it came out. It's one of those smoky, sultry, no, lying. It's like a soft cut crease smoky look. I guess that's what we'll call it. Yeah, with a heavy um, winged out liner. So on my eyelid, I'm wearing Nude Beach, which is actually my very first um, Bare Minerals color that I got. When I found out I got hired, I went to Sephora because I had some credit there. And um, I picked up some stuff, and this was one of the, the first eyeshadows I got. So that's what's on my eyelid. Okay. Then in, first into my crease is Velvet Taupe. Okay. It is a, a matte color. It's taupey color. I also have this brown, that warmer brown. It's from our Enlightenment Duo. And then when I got to work, well, I also have the van uh, Velvet Vanilla as my highlight. It's a matte, loose pigment. Um, these two were part of um, our Vision of Velvet collection that came out during holiday, but you can purchase them full size now. And they're part of our all matte collection that we just launched not that long ago. Um, so then when I got to work, because um, I was having allergies and I had to go to work really early, so I didn't get to quite finish up the look. So when I got to work, I added black, and that's basically what I did. Um, I went in, concentrated the color here, and feathered out with a synthetic crease brush. Um, that's how I got the look today. Um, I did not bring it in necessarily all the way in. It's just from the light feathering out lightly, it created the shadow here as well. Um... And I really like it. Underneath my eyes, I'm wearing um, this color here, very lightly, that brown. And I did, oh yeah, I don't, in my camera, you can't really see it, but there's like this middle color right in here between the light and the dark. And that's actually Velvet Mauve. Um, I don't own it, like I don't have it here to show you. It's just a basic mauve, rosy kind of color. Um, and that I had at work, so I add that. I added a little bit of that. I'm kind of tilted, sorry. Um... What else? My earrings are skulls today. Number 43 Miss Adoro eyelashes. And they look like this. I have a whole bunch. I did a San Diego trip recently. So um, I bought another 24 lashes. And I have a whole box full. But they're my favorite lash and I never want to run out. <laughs> On my lips, I'm wearing Free Will. Um, which is kind of worn off because I was at work. Um, but it's like a nudie pink color. On my eyelash, on my eyebrows, I'm wearing cashmere, of course. That's the same. And what else? Oh, I got a new item, too. Um, I just, I got a sample of the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, and I'm in the color medium. And I loved it. I loved it. I am needing more coverage these days in my concealer because I have really dark circles. My fibromyalgia has been really kicking my butt this last month um, and I don't get a lot of sleep. I have anxiety and it's not like that debilitating anxiety. It's that my head does not shut the hell up and I go to bed and my mind wants to talk about rainbows and freaking what I'm going to wear in the next 20 days and I just don't sleep very well. So um yeah, I have dark circles really bad, but you cannot tell. And I've been wearing this. So I went ahead and picked up the kit. For, um, the concealer itself is $24. And this kit is $32. It came out to $34.50, I believe, uh, around there. And it comes with their setting powder, a brush, and the maracuja oil. Which, to me, that oil straight up smells like canola oil. I'm not even going to lie. But it does. Why is my hair sticking up? Um, but I really like the concealer. Um, I will do a separate review if you guys want, so leave a comment below if that's something you guys are interested in. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but you need so, so little of it. It reminds me of the hard candy one um, that you can get like at Walmart, um, except it lasts a whole lot longer and it's not as greasy. So if you look underneath my eyes, and yes, I do have wrinkles. I've gotten a couple comments and messages about like, how do you not have wrinkles under your eyes? You know what? Pictures lie, friends. Pictures lie, okay? Nobody looks that flawless in person. Um, I do have some 
acne scarring. I still have some little tiny bumps on my face. My skin is not perfect. I'm not trying to fake it. It's just, I mean, who doesn't love filters on their pictures, okay? I know I'm a good makeup artist. I know I'm good at doing makeup on myself. So I can add filters to my pictures. I'm not trying to mask any kind of non-blending or miscolor match or anything like that. Like, I'm sorry if that sounds a little conceited, but, and I do, I am photogenic. Um, I do know my angles on how to take pictures. So my pictures do come out really nice. And I'm sorry if you don't like it, oh well. But I do have problems and I do have flaws. And I'm just like everybody else. But I also do take care of my skin. Um, skin is the most important thing. If you don't take care of your skin, no matter what amount of makeup or the price of your makeup, it does not matter. You're going to look shot. Um, it's not going to look its best. So anyway, I'm tired of talking already. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know these are small, quick videos, but I just don't, my phone is not good. Like if I were to do a full um, tutorial, those take about 20 minutes. Then I'd have to edit it down to around 10. I don't like videos that are like crazy long. Um, but yeah, I really liked my makeup. I know it's nothing new, it's nothing crazy, it's nothing exaggerated, but it's pretty, it's wearable. Um, still dramatic, but wearable. And I kind of like that. It's really pretty. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys want to see a review, separate review on the little um, tart thing, then please let me know and I will do it. Bye.